AITA for ruining Christmas Eve for my ex's fiancé? My ex's family were complaining that they wouldn't see our son on Christmas because I was going to spend it with my family. Since they live fairly close to my parents, I decided to drop by on Christmas Eve so they could see my son. I didn't check in advance to see if my ex and his fiancé would be there. But unfortunately, they were. My ex's fiancé asked me why I was there and asked me to leave. I tried to explain I was only there so my ex's family could see my son but she was yelling at me. That I ruined everything and I was doing this on purpose. She left because I wouldn't. The short story of why his fiancé hates me is because our son was conceived while they were already in a relationship which I wasn't aware of. So AITA? Isn't this the reason why custody agreements have clauses for holidays? Winking face IDK. But this could have all been avoided. The question is, did you go knowing there was a very high possibility of your ex and his fiancé being there? Because, why no? Xmas? NTA. He is. It's nice of you to make sure the grandparents get to see your son despite his father being a tool. Info. Which one of you did he cheat on? I mean, both obviously. But were you in the relationship? And she was the affair? Or were you the affair while they were in the relationship? Considering his family, aka, the people who own the house, were happy to have you and didn't ask you to leave. I guess NTA. His fiancé should be mad at him for cheating. Not you. You had no idea. If you can be enough of an adult to suck it up and be around your cheating ex for the sake of the child, so can she. Ash. You should have let him know you were coming and so should his parents. A simple text wouldn't have been so hard for any of you. His fiancé should not have freaked out like that. He shouldn't have cheated on her and gotten you pregnant. Basically you all suck. INFO. What did the father of your son did when you arrived? And the rest of the family? NTA. It's your ex's responsibility to deal with his fiancé's Christmas happiness. Not yours. And actually you didn't ruin anything. You gave his family joy by bringing your kid along for a short visit. If his fiancé can't deal with the way he behaved overall, which is very sketchy, by the way, that's their problem to solve. A simple phone call would have been ideal to see if it was okay to stop in. Given this is a holiday, most people usually have something going on. You also probably seen the cars outside this house and could have easily still called to check if it was a good time to stop in. Seeing that others were already there. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. But this comes off in a way that you didn't do this out of the pure goodness of your heart. Obviously. Your ex's fiancé isn't going to be a fan of yours. And vice versa. You still could have made one phone call so this situation could have been handled better. NTA based off the information from the post and comments so far. 1. Your child's grandparents invited you to their home too. You mentioned you were with your ex for a long time so you obviously have a relationship with his parents so there is no issue with them inviting you to their home. Point three. The fiancé's reaction and entitlement are mostly unwarranted. Your ex cheated you both it was her decision to stay with him. Point four. You aren't the affair partner. Your ex however is garbage. We broke up but we were talking about getting back together when he was conceived. I wasn't aware they were together until my friends told me that they had been sleeping together. Since we broke up, should you have called your ex to let him know? Yes, however his parents invited you in the first place so he can't do much about that. It might have been better if you had checked with someone before dropping by. However, that family had wished to see your son. And you were making that happen. I would fear that the fiancé might bear the same resentment towards your son that she shows. 
towards you, NTA. A you should have at least called the parents to see if it's okay to stop by. Automod thanks for posting. This comment is a copy of your post so readers can see the original text if your post is edited or removed. This comment is not accusing you of copying anything. Read this before contacting the mod team. My ex's family were complaining that they wouldn't see our son on Christmas because I was going to spend it with my family. Since they live fairly close to my parents, I decided to drop by on Christmas Eve so they could see my son. I didn't check in advance to see if my ex and his fiancé would be there. But unfortunately, they were. My ex's fiancé asked me why I was there and asked me to leave. I tried to explain I was only there so my ex's family could see my son but she was yelling at me. That I ruined everything and I was doing this on purpose. She left because I wouldn't. The short story of why his fiancé hates me is because our son was conceived while they were already in a relationship which I wasn't aware of. So AITA? I am a bot. And this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. YTA all you had to do was call ahead. And then, since you didn't do that, all you had to do was leave when asked. YTA not a good idea to surprise drop by. You should have arranged a suitable time with his parents. YTA. There's a reason why divorced parents have visitation schedules. Don't surprise your ex this way. NTA. Your ex-in-laws were asking to see their grandchild so you surprised them by showing up. If they invited you into the home and then asked you to stay, you were welcome to be there. I would suggest next time calling before you show up as your ex's fiancé seems to be triggered by you, even though it seems your ex cheated and lied to both of you. I get why she would be upset, but at the end of the day, she decided to stay with a man who cheated on her, while cheating on you, and had a child with you. If she can't handle seeing you from time to time, I don't see how or why she would want to marry your ex. YTA. You really didn't think they'd be there? You didn't call ahead? And the, when it obviously was an issue, you refused to leave. Honestly sounds like you wanted to cause an issue otherwise you would have just left. That would have solved the problem and would have made her look like an awe to the family. ETATE's common courtesy to let someone know you are going to pop round. Even without the potential for drama. Then when you found out that your ex and ex's fiancé were there. You refused to leave? YTA. You dropped by unannounced during an important holiday time already after you said your son wouldn't be seeing them. You then refused to leave when asked. All you had to do was call or stick to your original word. NTA. That's his kid. And his family wanted to see it. His fiancé needs to grow up. She's mad that her fiancé's child got to see their family on Christmas Eve? She's gotta grow up. YTA. The appropriate action would have been to call and ask if it was convenient to drop by. It is not unreasonable to think your affair partner and his fiancé would be there already. Just dropping in is the act of a close family member or close friend. Not the baby mama from an affair. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.